Ma Molotov was uh, one of Stalin's closest, closest uh, comrades during the whole uh, uh, revolutionary period. He, he was a bosom buddy of Stalin. A, there, na a name people in my generation heard all the time when we were young. He, uh, the Molotov cocktail. Exactly. Uh, the, uh, he was the foreign uh, minister during the Second World War. Um, he was called, uh, uh, Stalin used to joke uh, about his last name and call him Malachstein. He was married to a Jewish woman, uh, Zemchuzhina. And Zemchuzhina, for various reasons, fell out of favor with uh, Stalin. Uh, at, at the end of the 40s, with the established state of Israel, there was a, a lot going on there, and Stalin became very suspicious of any Jew uh, in his government. And, uh, and, and perhaps it was a way of testing Stalin uh, Molotov's loyalty. But he arrested Chuzhina. Before she was arrested, she was expelled from the uh, Central Committee. And in this um, meeting where she was expelled, Molotov refused to vote against her. He didn't vote for her, but he abstained from voting. And in his uh, diary, Georgi Dimitrov writes down, this was certainly not correct on the part of Mo It was certainly not correct. And Dimitrov was? The head of the Comintern, the Communist International. Now, another story, which perhaps uh, you were thinking of also, is the story about Stalin's uh, uh, longtime adjutant, uh, let, me stop, let me stop you right there, if I may, for just a second. Mm -hmm. Molotov complained to Stalin, and I, it, what Stalin said to him is absolutely unforgettable. Yes, well, I think, I think you may be uh, uh, conflating stories. Okay, yes, yeah. conflating the stories, because this has to do okay. with Paskrobyshev, okay. uh, General Paskrobyshev who was a, he became Stalin's secretary after the war. In any case, uh, Paskrobyshev comes home one day in the 30s and discovers that his wife has been arrested. And he runs to Stalin and he says, Comrade Stalin, this is clearly a mistake. My wife is a decent person, a loyal communist, a devoted uh, a member of the party. Please, I beg of you, stop this, bring her home, I love my wife. He throws himself at Stalin's knees, holds him by the knees, and Stalin says, get up, we'll find you another wife. That's the story I was thinking about. It's, uh, that and just goes to show you. Now, people, uh, it was it, uh, is the name uh, Rubishoff in Darkness at Noon, the fellow who uh, goes to his death, you know, they're yes. leading him through the dungeons of uh, Lubyanka, the bullet in his head, which is the way they did it. And I gather from your book they usually did it the day after the trial. The trial was a showpiece, and... Uh, exactly. Yeah. There's an old saying in the United States, I shouldn't say this on television, but uh, there's an old saying, life's a bitch. After your trial, they gave you one day, next day they took you out and shot you. By the hundreds of thousands, apparently, is what I gather from your book. The hundreds and hundreds of thousands. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.